In this video, I will show you how to create your first Java interface using NetBeans. So the first step is to download NetBeans. Here I will go to this first link. Then as you can see, the latest version is 12.4. So I will click on this button and then I will download this installer for Windows. So here I will just click on this link. And now I can save this installer on my computer, but I have already downloaded this installer, so I will cancel this download, and I will use the installer that I have downloaded. Also, before starting the installer, it is necessary to check that you have installed the Java GDK correctly on your machine. So for this reason, I will just open the command prompt, and in this window, I will type the following command. It's java-version. So as you can see, I have installed the GDK on my computer and the version that I have is 16.0.2. So let's close this window and let's start the installation of NetBeans. In this window, I will just click next. Then I have to accept the license, then next. Then here I will accept this location where to install NetBeans and I will accept this GDK. So let's click next. So here I don't like to make updates, so I will uncheck this box and then let's click on install. Now NetBeans is installed correctly, so let's close this window. And this shortcut has been added to the desktop, so let's use it to start NetBeans. So let's close this welcome page and let's create a new project. So let's click on this button. And here, as you can see, we have different building tools to create a new Java project, either using Maven or Gradle or Aint. So Aint is the easiest one. So to start learning Java, I advise you to use Aint for building your Java projects. So I will select this Java with Aint, then let's select Java application. Now let's click next. So this window is empty for the moment because this is the first time I start NetBeans. So it is necessary to wait a few seconds before the appearance of these components. And here I don't like to download any additional module, so I will not click on download and activate, instead I will just click on activate. So here I will just call it uh, first interface as the project name. And also I don't like to create the main class now, I will do it later. So let's uncheck this box. Now let's click on finish. So the project has been created, but for the moment it is empty. So let's create a new Java class using this button. And here I will select Java, then Java class. Now let's click on next. So this is the main class, so that's why I will call it main class. And now let's click on finish. So this class has been created. I will just add the public static void main. And also I will print some text on the console. So let's say hello NetBeans. Let's save this and let's run it. So as you can see, this is the output. Now let's create a new Java interface. So I have just to select the project. Now let's click on this button. And here I want to create a new uh, interface using Swing. So I will just select this. And then I have to select a G-Frame form. Now let's click on Next. 
so this is a frame so I will call it main frame then let's click on finish so this is the designer and if I want to take a look on the source code I have just to click on this button and this is the corresponding source code so let's go back to the designer also here as you can see this is the area where we can complete the frame and this is the area with the different components that we can add to this frame also here we have the different properties of the different components that we have added to the frame so uh, here I will just add a simple label so I have just to find the label this is it I have to drag and drop it and for this label I will just increase the width and for the text to modify the text I have just to select the label then I have to find text in the properties so this is the text I have to modify it let's call it name and let's hit enter as you can see the name has been modified also now I need to provide a text field Also, I need to increase the width. And for the text, I want it to be empty because the user will modify the text. So let's remove the text. And also, I need to provide a name for this, for this class. So I have to switch to code. And here, the variable name, I want to modify it. So I will call it uh, tf for text field and name. TF name. Let's hit enter. Now let's add a new label. So I have to find label again. I will just put it at the middle. And this label I want it to be empty because it will be modified by the source code. So I have to go to properties then I have to find the text I have to remove this text let's hit enter and also for this uh, for this label I have to provide it with another name so I have to go to code then for the variable name I will call it LB welcome and finally I will just add a button at the end so let's select a button and let's add it just at the end of this frame and for this text I will just uh, write OK and for the object name I will call it BTN OK now let's modify the title of this frame so I have just to select the frame it is possible to select the frame either from the designer but this is a little bit difficult because I have different components in the frame but it is also possible to select the frame from this area so let's select this frame and in the property I have to modify the title So for the title, I will just say welcome. Let's hit enter. And now let's go back to the source code. So here in the source code, I have this main uh, method. So it is possible to run this class. So let's run it. I have just to make a right click, then run file. And as you can see, this is the obtained window it has this title and this text uh, field in addition to this button but as you can see the look and feel is not that of windows so to modify this I have just to go back to the source code and to make some modifications in the main method so as you can see here we have this uh, code which seems as a command but in fact I can expand it using this 
uh, icon and then I can just remove it so let's remove all of this code Now let's save this class again and let's run it again. This time, as you can see, this is the look and feel of this frame, which is a little bit better. Now let's add a listener to the OK button. So I need to go back to the designer. And uh, here I have just to make double click on this button. Now here in the source code, I have just to make the required modifications. And what I want to do is to read the content of the text field and to add it to the welcome label. So let's do this. Now let's save this and let's run this class again. Now let's provide some text here. And let's click on this button. So as you can see, this is the text that is available in this welcome level. So this is all for this video. I hope it is useful for you. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel.